Good evening, morning, afternoon, every single person, whether you're watching this live or on the record. This is Founders 365 with me, Stephen Haggerty. And tonight and today, I'm alone on this episode. And I want to just take a time, a very short episode tonight, to talk about how Founders 365 is going what I've learned along the way, um, what I've expected, what I haven't expected. We are now under the 300 mark. So we've got 296 episodes left uh, in terms of interviews left. By the end of the year, we would have probably produced what by we, I mean me, uh, probably produced in the region of 300, probably 370, 375 podcast episodes because i do if you're not subscribed into apple or any of the podcast places i uh, do bonus episodes every now and then which are just 10 minute little segments of reviewing sort of how how things are going uh so if you're not subscribed or yeah subscribed to the podcast the audio podcast um then definitely do that via Apple, Spotify, but we're, we're on all of them. Uh, but I just wanted to make this very short episode to discuss how the challenge is going. So for those of you that don't know what the challenge is, it's to interview 365 founders throughout 2020. Um, so originally it was 365 founders live every day, but I've cha- that changed very quickly because, uh, yeah, as a comment on Facebook said, entrepreneurs are really flaky. So I think one night I had technical issues that just meant I couldn't go live. Uh, Another night, just no one could do the podcast. And tonight, very similar, no one could do the podcast. So I wanted to uh, just jump on here and do a little review. And for the first time as well, I'm, I'm going to shout out to the live comments here on Facebook. However, if you're in the Founders Network, I can't actually see your name on the comments. It just says Facebook user. So do let me know who is watching um, because it is always interesting to see who choosing in live. So a few of the things that I've learned along the way in terms of how this challenge is going. Firstly, it's a crazy challenge, okay? Um you know, so many people are doing podcasts now. And one of the reasons I want to do a podcast every single day is to prove to people that, listen, you can do a podcast every day, uh, but doing one every, uh, doing one, a podcast every week, sorry. So like weekly episodes is fairly easy. Uh, I wanted to push myself and this is why I'm doing one every single day this year, which again is crazy. Um, One of the key things that I've learned along the way is all about getting organized, getting structure in terms of systems. It's made, it's forced me to put more systems in my business, which is great. Uh, but it has also made me really evaluate in terms of what people want to come on a podcast and what, what their intentions are as well. So I, I put a thread in one of the Facebook groups in terms of podcasts and I think I had something like 350 uh, replies on it, which is great. And on the surface of it, you're like, great, there you go. That's my one field every day. However, when you start looking at the guests in a little bit more detail, you kind of start thinking, okay, what are the intentions of getting on the podcast? You know, what conversations are we having? Because my intention for these podcasts is to have a really valuable talk And secondly, make it so it's very conversational. Um, You know, some guests want you to pre-send questions and and do all that. And for me, that's not what this is about. This is all about genuine conversations. And it's about making it so that you as a founder who's listened to this predominantly, uh, just for some sort of fun stats, we get uh, 70% of our listeners and I can only see stats through audio listeners, so like uh, Apple, Spotify, all, all the podcast platforms. But we get 70% of our listeners in, in the UK. We get 20% in the USA, which I, I'm shocked by, to be honest. Uh, but that's great. I'm, I'm happy about that. And then the other 10% are dotted around Europe, France, Italy, uh, Spain. I think we get a couple in like um, Thailand and, and that sort of places, which, which is fantastic. Like I, I really thought that when this started it would be smaller than it has been uh honestly i I just thought you know 
I'll get a couple of listeners every show and that, I'll, I'll, I'll be stoked with that. Um, and I remember the first couple of episodes when they were getting into like the double numbers, triple numbers per per episode. I was like, okay, this is interesting. But I also knew that at the start, people are super excited about things. And this is another learning, another learning experience for me uh, in terms of what people, in terms of like your following, like we all talk about building a tribe and how we want to build communities and have people follow you. And one of the things that you will see is that at the start, people are like egging you on, uh, super supportive. And then over time, as you're consistently showing up, it, you almost become um, not dull is not the right word, but you kind of get lost in the noise because you're consistently showing up. So I know for a fact that if I was doing a weekly episode, I would probably have more listeners and more people tuning in live. But because it's live every day, I do think it dilutes it a little bit. But I have to keep reminding myself that, to be honest, this challenge isn't about the everyday part. It's about on January 1st, 2021, when I have 365 interviews with founders, think about the amount of value that for me that I've learned, you know, in a very selfish way that I've learned uh, from these guests and already the amount of, of value and the incredible conversations that I've had both on live and off live, like just before we go live and just after, have been truly outstanding. The quality of conversation is really great. And I'm so thankful for every single guest that has been on so far. Uh, but I just have to keep reminding myself that at the end of the 365 days or 366 days, because we're in a, in a leap year, I, at the end of this year, uh, that's going to be the real special point where firstly, all those people that thought, oh my God, you're crazy for doing this. And then when you do it, it's like, oh, okay, he did it. That's cool. But also the fact that I've got the, um, I've got the, the, the conversations, uh, the amount of, the amount of content that that's producing at the moment. And that's one of the things I'm figuring out what to do with, uh, someone just said, uh, upload them all to YouTube. They're already all on YouTube. So what happens is as soon as this, the interviews finish, uh, they get uploaded to YouTube and to all the, um, podcasting platforms. And so they stay on YouTube, they stay on the Founders 365 page, they obviously stay on my profile in the Founders Network group, but in the latter two, they just get lost because of conversations and, and other content. But in the Founders 365 page, the only thing on that page are the videos. Uh, likewise, in the pod, the audio podcast areas, you're only ever going to get the episodes. So I do want to push the audio side more just because uh, that's super valuable in terms of a business-wise uh you know that that's an asset it's it's an asset in terms of the value the 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 content and all those other areas uh lots of people have said look are you going to write a book about this are you going to bring out a podcasting course uh, and quite frankly a book maybe podcasting course i don't think so because and here's a here's a big myth it's super easy to start a podcast okay uh there's a lot of podcasting courses out there that are like six weeks long and all these modules. And I'm looking at them and I think, what are people selling? Because literally you you can sign up to a platform like Anchor and, and all these other sort of podcast platforms, which automatically links you up with Apple, Spotify, uh, Stitcher, Google and uh, Google podcasts, all the, all the podcasts. I think there's about 10 or 12. I can't, I can't remember. Uh, and even on those platforms, so on Anchor, which is the service I use, you can you can record audio straight on there. You can upload audio, which is what I do. Uh, and it can't be easy to start your own podcast. So I do truly believe that if you're if you're thinking about starting a podcast or starting Facebook Lives or video or YouTube channel, then the more you look into doing it, the more complicated it seems when it's really not. Uh, all you need is a camera, a mic, uh, like I have an external mic, but you could use your laptop or, or computer mic uh, or even your phone and and you can start. So will I, will I create a podcast course? I very much doubt it unless I suddenly come up with, suddenly find like, it is more complicated and I do find a hack. But at the moment, listen, if you want to start a podcast, I'm more than happy to chat to you about it. 
but I'm not going to charge for that. Uh, and I don't think anyone else should because it is it is so super easy. The hard bit is so this so let's get on to the hard parts of the podcast is is guests. Uh, you know, 365 guests is tricky. Um, to say the least, I am literally at the moment setting up some systems to bring guests on. I'm also uh, talking to a couple of VAs and trying to trying to organise that side of things as well, just to get that bit more streamlined. the The hardest part is, and this is the most surprising part of this podcast series challenge, whatever we want to call it, is the dropout rate. Uh, and not dropout rate is in like, hey man, I can't do your podcast next week. It's like an hour before or two hours before, hey, buddy, can't do it. Sorry, something's come up. And for me, I value time massively. I, For those of you who know me for a long time, I've spoken on stage just about time and how it is our biggest asset. Uh, I literally have in front of me 86,400, which is how many seconds you get in a day. So for me, time is one of my biggest values. And one of the biggest surprises, like I said, was the the fact that people did drop out really, uh, really last minute, which was disappointing. But I also get it. You know, sometimes life comes in the way and sometimes it can't be helped. But on the flip side of that is I have loved how many people have like stood up in those times of need and be like, yep, I'm more than happy to jump on the podcast. And those conversations have all been so great. Uh, and I've had people where we've come on camera and they've had all their washing behind them and they've gone, oh, bugger, it's on camera. And they've cleaned it up, uh, which, which just makes me laugh because it's so real. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't like a, a fancy podcasting studio, although maybe in season two it might be, who knows? Uh, this is just like real good conversations between me and a founder discovering what they're about, what their business is about, the struggles, the highs, the lows and all the in, ins and outs. And that's why I love doing this because I'm trying to keep it as as raw and authentic as possible. You've probably noticed, but I do zero editing on my podcast, like on Facebook, like we, like we are now. It is live. I literally just take the like this audio and put it on uh, on the podcast platforms. So for those of you that are listening in cars and things, I appreciate you even more because sometimes, you know, things might not come across as they are because of video uh, and just on audio. I try to limit the fact that we have a interaction of video so that the people that are just listening can really make sure that they're still getting as much value, if not more, than people watching. So this is one of the reasons I don't typically answer uh, Facebook comments that pop up, uh, just because I do truly think it then disconnects from the audio vis listeners in terms of me saying, you know, uh, for example, there's a comment now saying, I've got a course with Zachary, Zachary, it's less than about how to do the podcast, but that's straightforward. His main USP is getting big names and getting ranked and staying there. So comments like that are super great for me to read, but if I was going to read out every comment that comes on board, then it just becomes a massive disconnect for the only audio listeners. And like I said, our numbers are really strong in that sense. So I'm super happy about that. Um, so one of the downsides is guests in terms of guest relation. That's something improving, I think. And as we carry on growing or as we carry on, what I'm loving is the fact that people are referring people into the podcast. So I think I've had, you know, five, six, probably maybe even seven or eight guests that have come from previous guests saying, hey, you should come and speak to Stephen and get on the podcast, which I love. So again, thank you for that. Um, in terms of where this is going and what's going to, where, where I want it to evolve into. So we're coming up to the end of Q1. And at the moment, I'm trying to organize a three to five person roundtable podcast episode, which will probably end up being about two, two and a half hours long and film live just like normal. But it's a group of us talking about how Q1 has gone and the improvements, uh, you know, the wins, the losses, all that kind of stuff. And especially at the moment with the coronavirus, everything that's going on, the media, uh, lots of businesses are being affected. So I think that conversation could be really special. So at the moment, I'm, I'm sort of shortlisting some guests and people I want to approach for that. And hopefully that will, that will happen at the end of this month. So do bear it back that in mind. And I would love to do that every quarter. So every quarter we have a round table review of that quarter. I think that would be really special in terms of the Founders 365 podcast. And technically I'll be interviewing five founders at once. So could I just then take five days off? 
kidding that's not going to happen um another thing that keeps getting asked for me is about like sponsorship do i want to go down the sponsorship road for founders 365 and yeah i mean it's something i i am considering uh i've spoken to a couple of people about it uh, none of the offers have been uh, tangible enough for me quite yet in terms of what they're offering versus what they want me to do uh, if that makes sense so at the moment no sponsorship but down the line three six months down the line yeah listen i'm i'm more than happy to speak about sponsorship episodes or or you know a sponsor a week all that kind of stuff i do think it could be very really beneficial to listeners as well because if i do go get sponsorship then i'm going to make sure that what whoever or whatever is sponsoring this episode is going to align with the audience which again is business business owners founders entrepreneurs so you know i'm not going to have some sort of local car dealership sponsor it uh, i'm only going to have things that are going to going to resonate with you in tools and and services that you guys can use as listeners and and, and as viewers so again i'm here to try and make this improve this podcast as much as possible and sponsorship is one way to do that uh, just because obviously funds in terms of i can allocate specific funds for the podcast which would be great uh, and all the other things secondly um secondly I'm, I'm i'm on like seven points here so there's no this is not in order uh the the other thing i wanted to discuss with you the viewers and um and the listeners is the how do i word this because this is really on the fly but is the uh the in terms of the guess it's what i do what happens after the after the episode so at the moment obviously that the audio goes on podcasts uh the video goes on youtube we link it all up on on social media uh but what i would love to start doing again and this is something i'm trying to find someone to help me with is find uh do like show notes and have every single episode written out as well so that for the for the both the guest and the podcast itself it just helps with seo and and rankings and all that stuff but also it means that we could, that the guest can take content and use it in other places rather than just having the video and audio they can have specific um you know captions titles that kind of stuff so that's something i'm trying to work on again the like i said earlier it, the benefit of doing it a podcast once a week is you have the time to to edit to strip audio to um get sort of voice notes from it and all that kind of stuff when you're doing one every single day that time per episode that you have to work on the episode before and after is very limited um you know this isn't my full-time thing obviously i'm coaching during the day uh, i'm speaking with clients going on client days so for me i i try to make this as simple as possible for me so i use two platforms and that's it and it's working and like i said this comes back to that whole you don't need to be overcomplicating podcasts you can you can get systems out there now that allow your job to be a lot easier so these are all just ideas and things that are happening behind the scenes that you don't see uh which i want to be super open about uh, you know we're nearly the end of three months into this which is incredible one other side effect of doing this podcast every day it is making my year fly by you know it is doing i i feel like i started on january 1st i blinked and we're on episode 69 um which is just nuts and like i said it is crazy to think about how many interviews and how many conversations i've had so far and we're only a quarter of a or nearly a quarter of the way through this challenge um i cannot wait to just carry on interviewing people carry on speaking to some amazing founders carry on building this community and making sure that you as viewers and listeners are getting the most out of the episodes if you've noticed the beginning ones were about you know between 40 and sometimes an hour long there was a couple of an hour long ones but they're averaging out between 30 and 50 minutes um but now probably for the last 10 or so ep maybe even a bit longer actually maybe the last 10 20 episodes they've all been around the 30 to 35 minute mark and that seems to be the sweet spot in terms of getting a really good conversation 
and making sure that it's it's still absorbable by you, the listeners. And again, that's probably something more for a listener than a viewer, because I know when I used to commute and get on a train every day, I'd always listen to podcasts because I had 30, 40 minutes of sitting on a train and it was for the perfect amount. So I wanted to make the timeline try and resonate with those that would be listening on a way to a meeting or in the car and that kind of stuff. And also making it so it's short, snappy, to the point, um, you know, my questioning style can sometimes be a bit ruthless. It sounds like I'm direct, but I love that. And I love how every single guest has absorbed that and reacted in the best way possible. Uh, and that's why we get really genuine conversations. That's why we enable, I think every, nearly every single guest at the beginning goes, hey, so what sort of questions are you gonna ask me? And I always say, look, this is the first question. This is the last. In the middle, we just see what's happening. And that's the sw that's the magic of this, this podcast. And there's not many other podcasts that do that. Uh, a lot of them are much more scripted than we may think. And I'm, and I'm really, really trying to just make this as raw as possible. So again, hope you're really enjoying it. Um, is there anything else I wanted to talk about on this under the 300 mark episode? Uh, no, that's it. You know, I really appreciate it. Like I said, every single guest that has been on, every single minute that you've watched, uh, I, I appreciate that this is time out of your day that you're giving to this podcast to to listen and and, and watch. So there's nothing I commend more than taking that time and investing it in this podcast. So again, thank you for that. We're we a quarter of a way through, nearly, nearly, and it's it's not we're not slowing down. We're we're carrying on. We are plowing on. We're getting some fantastic guests lined up. Um, I just got confirmed last night. This a guy that I've seen on Instagram for years called the Flight King. He's an amazing guy. Uh, I'm so looking forward to that podcast. We were meant to do it last year and it didn't work out, uh, but he's already booked on. I think he's coming on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, so people like that where you're, that you perhaps don't experience them in everyday life, but they've built these incredible businesses either through social media, word of mouth or, or positioning. Uh, and I want to bring those sort of the people to you. I don't, I'm not too fussed about getting like, you know, Richard Branson on for it. I mean that, I mean, if Richard Branson got on, that would be incredible, but, I don't want to give you the same conversations that have been heard on 10 other podcasts. I want to give you conversations that have, that are quite unique, that have a story and um, have that difference in them. You know, for me, if I see a, a, a guest that's been on a hundred different podcasts, that I, I don't want to speak to that person about the same thing that they've told a hundred times. I want to speak to that person about something that they've never spoken about before. Um, so again, this is why I'm trying to be as unique as possible. So thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for sticking with the Founders 365 mission. Uh, if you're not already in the Founders Network group, go on to Facebook, search the Founders Network, join the group, join this community. We're growing every day. We're nearly 800 founders strong. Uh, uh, and I just want to thank a lot. I keep saying thank you, but I am so appreciative of every single one of you that, like I said, is watching and listening and sharing these podcasts. Uh, if you want to come on, if you want to be a guest, drop drop me a message. We can definitely get you on. We can get that arranged. And um, yeah, that's it for me for the episode six nine under the three hundred mark. Two hundred and uh, I can't remember what it says above. Two hundred and sixty odd. No, yeah, two hundred. Oh, I can't remember. Two hundred odd something episodes left. Uh, but we're getting there. So thank you everyone for listening. Thank you everyone for watching. This has been Founders 365, episode 69. We are under the 300 mark. Cheers, everyone.